Once again with the artist Josh Rosen, we learned all about his sculptures and everything. But now, Josh, what is how we can see your artwork here? But if you couldn't, if we didn't have your artwork here, how would you describe it to someone? Yeah, I would call it post-apocalyptic, dreamlike, kind of. A lot of people compare it to Tim Burton. Okay. I like. I like to compare it to the unknown Japanese artist in Poltergeist 3 who I've yet to be able to find. If anybody can find out who he is, contact me. All right, well, there you go. If anyone knows who that is, call up Josh here. But all sorts of inspiration that you've had. You mentioned that you hadn't seen the Tim Burton films when you started creating right. this. Right. I've been doing this for about 20 years. Right when I got engaged, I didn't have any money. I needed to make a present for my wife, so I made these two little wood people, and they looked kind of cool, but it was the first attempt, and then I just started making cooler ones and cooler ones and cooler ones just because I thought they looked cool. Not sure. thinking that they were art, I just thought they looked cool. And they sat in my house forever, and everybody kept saying, oh, you're fabulous, you're fabulous. But I just thought it was more the Pier 1 tchotchke stuff. You know, I thought it's a little voodoo doll or a little <laughs> something. You know, but people started wanting to buy them, and then the, what they were willing to pay, I, I said, well, maybe it is art. Sure. And then I got embraced by the people at the Art Guild here, Deborah Lear and Steve Hinton, who's my mentor, who's with me. Thanks a lot, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. And he's really the one that made me believe that it was art. Because he's sure. like, no, this is art. It's not just should be sitting in your house. Get out sure. there and, and sell it. So. And now That's what I'm doing now. And now you're working on a coffee table book as well. We're working on a coffee table book. It's a grown-up story book. It's more like the Grimm Brothers, dark fairy tales, but they're the ironies that I'm, that each sculpture of mine represents a certain irony or sure. it's teaching a moral. They're more than just sculptures. Each one has a story, and you can check those out on my webpage online, or you can buy the coffee table book on an unknown date when it's gonna come out. There you go, this is so exciting. Again, who knew something like this could have a story behind it that teaches a lesson, teaches which is a lesson. so, so neat. And now your and children- And it's green. And it's green, again, all recycled all product. The <laughs> there you go. Your children, you've mentioned them many times here this morning. Right. Huge inspiration, an inspiration for your shirt that right. you're wearing right now. Yeah, this was my daughter at five, <laughs> and it was a picture that Nobody wanted because she was furious, and I said immediately, buy that picture, that $87 picture that she ruined because she was mad, and I said, that's <laughs> Mad Girl. So everybody's loved it, and it's caught on. I had to get it copywritten because wow. people said they had my shirt in Arizona and blah, blah, blah. How and neat is that, though? So now I'm protected, and we're <laughs> going forward with it, and y'all can pick up Mad Girl shirts at the Swirl. I don't know the address, but it's in the public, <laughs> it's in the public parking lot. And you're working on some artwork for them as well. Right, I'm going to do some art for the swirl we're going to get a mad girl up on the wall there i believe but that's going to be the headquarters and we're going to have a web page for mad girl online apparel mm -hmm. which will be coming out in a couple of weeks maybe three weeks we'll have that ready for the public very exciting and who knew one of those you know as you mentioned those pricey pricey yeah. professional portraits for ballet or any sport that you do you took a ruined picture what exactly. some people would say exactly. and turned it in grandmas were not going to buy it they said we're not <laughs> buying this picture it's awful how could she be that way all right, well, Josh Rosen, one more time, what's your website that people can it's find out more? It's THTMTM.com, okay. the hands that make the monsters. All right, well, thank you so much. Good luck with everything you're doing. Thanks, We're excited Mary. for the coffee table book to come out. And now, Kelly, what's going on in entertainment?